Hi friends! Today we're going to make a beef and tater casserole. Super easy. So all we got to do is start off with about a pound and a half of uh, ground chuck. And you want it pretty lean. And I'm uh, just gonna fry this up. I just started it. And I am going to put an onion in there. And we're gonna put some garlic in there. And uh, some salt and pepper. Not, not much season. This is just a simple, simple recipe. Something you can throw together for a um, quick dinner or uh, if you've got to take food to somebody, this is a good casserole to take. So, and it's fast and it's easy. So you'll have to have your, uh, your, your chuck roast. And I'm gonna use some hash browns. You can use tater tots. I'm gonna use some hash browns. And this is a two pound bag. And then you're gonna need two to three cans of some kind of cream soup. You can use cream of chicken, you can use cream of celery, you can use cream of mushroom, just whatever you want to use. I don't particularly care for cream of mushroom, so I usually, my choice one, if it's just a casserole or something like that, I like the cream of celery, if you like celery. If you don't, use cream of chicken. Right now, tonight, we're gonna use both because I didn't have two of one or the other. I might have had more cream of chicken, but since I kind of tend to like celery, I'm gonna use uh, one of each. So we're gonna brown this meat up with this onion and some celery. So I used a whole onion, and then I'm gonna use about a tablespoon of this minced garlic. Okay? And we're just gonna brown it up and then, uh, now I've had my hash brown sitting out all day. It, I've uh, kind of learned that it's better if they're defrosted. So I'm gonna go ahead and just open up this. And if you're not cooking for a crowd, you may wanna just use one pound. I'm gonna use two. And we're just gonna finish cooking that up, mix our soups in with this, cook it down just a little bit and you'll, you'll kind of know if you're gonna add some water. So I'll show you if we're gonna add some water to that soup mixture or not. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, our meat is getting almost done. It's probably about three fourths done and the onions are still crispy. Now I'm gonna add a little salt and I'm gonna add some pepper. We like to salt and pepper everything. And um, I'm also gonna add, at this point, I'm gonna add some flour. Now, the flour is just gonna help it to be like a gravy, you know, kind of thick. So we're probably gonna add about, I would say about a tablespoon and a half, okay? I just have it my flour when i'm going to just use a little bit i put it in a little um i have a little flour shaker okay and then we're just going to stir this up now i didn't have any grease in here to have to strain um, because i used a very very lean chuck we're going to let that flour taste kind of um we want that flour to cook just a little bit because we don't want that flour taste. Now, when you're cooking with potatoes, you know that potatoes need salt. So we're gonna salt this. I thought I had some Lowry's seasoning. I don't, so I'm just gonna use regular salt and I'm gonna use, I'm gonna salt mine pretty good. You might not like as much salt as I am putting. And then I'm gonna also pepper my potatoes. Or it's going to be all mixed together. It probably doesn't matter, but I tend to like to salt and pepper everything separate. Okay, that flour is probably good and cooked in here. 
So let's open up our soup mixture. Soup mixtures. We're going to put both cans in there. dandy um meat chopper you know cook hamper oh i absolutely love it i got it from pampered chef and i liked it so well that i bought another one to put in our in our trailer our camper so when we go camping i have one turn my fire just down just a little bit It's a beautiful day. It's 72 degrees here. And it's supposed to be beautiful for the next, well, as long as I can see on the forecast. So we are so happy. We've been working and planting in the garden. Okay. So I want to show you the thickness of this, and I'm going to show you why I want to add some some water so let me go ahead and get my water and then I'm going to show you I'm going to start off with uh, I'm going to go ahead and fill the can up all, all the way but I'm going to start I'm only going to add half the can to start with hang on just a second tell you when my cameraman in here I'm missing okay so um, I got it to about this consistency about half a can was good. And I may, you know what? I think I'm gonna go ahead and add the whole can. Let's go ahead and add the whole can. And it's a little, oh yeah, that's good. Okay, see there? So you wanna go ahead and add a whole can of water, okay? Now we're gonna bring this to a good boil and it's gonna look just like gravy, because we put that flour in there, and uh, it's going to get good and thick. So I'm going to bring this to a boil, let it boil for just a couple of minutes, and then we're going to pour it over our um, potatoes there. I'm going to go ahead. Okay, this has been boiling for about two or three minutes, and it's good and thick, so I'm going to turn the fire off. Now, this is optional what I'm fixing to do. Um, I like, I don't want my potatoes to be dry. I, we don't like anything dry. So, what I'm going to do, I save my bacon grease in this little thing here. And I, you can put it on the stove and, warm, and just heat it just a little bit. And then just pour just a little bit, not a lot. And uh, I'll just use this thing. And then just toss those potatoes. Now, you could use a little olive oil if you wanted to, but uh, I'm just going to use a little bit of bacon grease. And it gives it extra flavor. Okay, so now that this is ready, I'm going to pour this uh, meat mixture over it. And we're just going to Stir it all around. Can y'all see? I'll tell you, I don't have my, my eyeballs in. Okay, so we're going to stir this all around. And, oh, it already smells so good. And then we're just going to top it with cheese. And bake it. And this is your main main dish. Now, if you don't want to use cheese, you can put uh, Ritz crackers on it too, and that's really good. Just mix a little Ritz crackers and a little butter together, and that's a good topping too. But we're going to use cheese tonight. And I've got a Colby uh, Monterey Jack blend here. We're just going to sprinkle that around. And I like to be pretty generous on the cheese. So you just do what you want to do. And we're going to bake this 
Um, we're going to bake this for about 35 minutes, 35 to 40 minutes, and I'm going to cook it on 325, 300 to 325, because I want it to kind of bake a little slow. So we're going to put it in the oven now, and I do it uncovered. Okay, it's ready. See there? Oh, it looks so good. It's been in the oven for about between 30 and 35 minutes. Oh, and look at this little pot holder I got. Isn't that adorable? It's Texas and it's quilted. I got this for 10 cents at a thrift store. So I was really excited about that. But I'm going to taste some of this. Um, I let it, I let it sit for, it's been sitting in the, just, I turned off the oven and then I just let it sit in the oven for about 15 more minutes. Just so it can kind of rest. Yeah, that looks so good. Can y'all see that? It's got cheese, it's got all that. It's not dry. We don't like anything dry. If it's dry, we do not like it. If you feel like it's going to be dry, add another can of soup. Okay. All right. Let's give it a little taste. Hopefully, it doesn't need any more salt because you know potatoes need salt. It smells delicious. Mmm. Mmm. It don't need salt. It don't need anything. It is delicious, y'all. This is a good, hearty meal. And easy. And you could even mix this up, put it in your refrigerator, and then bring it out later if you had a really busy day and wanted to make mix this up before work and you had to go to work put it in the refrigerator and then have somebody put it in the oven for you or whatever it's wonderful even to take to somebody that's had a baby or been sick and then they can cook it themselves just warm it up oh it's just wonderful endless mm. this is supper tonight Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time. Check us out on Instagram and Facebook if you would like. We'll see you next time. Bye.